are so excited to bring out our next guest. He's changing lives with his 10th annual fundraiser this, this year. It's called the Dempsey Challenge. Please welcome Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> and welcome. We heard you've been doing a lot of traveling lately. Yes, I was in Egypt on Sunday uh, in the morning and then Rome in the afternoon and then I arrived in Maine in the evening. So I had a great time. So you've been you've been all over the place. I have. Yeah. I've and never been to Egypt before. I've have never you ever been, been there? No. I've never been. It's if you have an opportunity to travel, please go to Egypt. The people are amazing. And I was in the Red Sea uh, wow. at a place at a film festival called Alguna, and it was uh, amazing, a great experience. And you know, everything that you hear, you know, you see, until you get to a country and you understand the people and, and you interact, it's, it's such a great way to learn. It's um, on my bucket list. I want to see the pyramid, the space. Yeah, 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 I didn't get it. Yeah, it'd be yeah, great. It's on my bucket list. Yeah, so all of society is sort of evolving and sort of stop, uh, starting from that point, and it's really important. And I, I realize you and I have a lot in common. I mean, we love cars. Yeah. Yeah, we love cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we both have twins. Yes. You you have twin boys who are 11, you and your wife, Jillian, and then you have a 16-year-old. A yes. And my twin girls are 13. Right. But, <laughs> yeah. but, but you have twin <laughs> preteens and a teenager. Right. House chaotic? I'm traveling a lot, as you can tell. <laughs> He's like, did I mention I was in Egypt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it's wonderful. It's it's so fascinating because of the stages, right? When the, mm -hmm. the newborn, especially with twins, is it, it's, oh. it's awesome. But everything just gets a little bit more complicated in trying to keep them engaged, finding out what their passions are, and, and keeping them off the uh, the games, you know, and off TV, get them outside yeah. active. Um, yeah, it's tricky because they don't like me talking about them too much now um, on, on TV. But I, I'm really proud of them. They're doing a great job. And my daughter is working very hard in school. Uh, straight A's and you know the the workload for a you know a junior in high school it's is hard. very hard. So it's just managing that homework stress level. Well, one thing they'll be happy you are talking about, and we are too, is you're going back to your hometown in Maine. Yes, Lewiston, Auburn, Maine. Oh, where is that in the state? It's central. It's okay. about 45 minutes northwest of Portland. Okay. Um, so it's a, it was a mill town. So of course, all the mills have now gone, and uh, it's. Uh, it's, uh, it's I a, love Maine. I we love were Maine. Just in Portland, with Cape Elizabeth this summer. And, yeah, but Portland's you, great, and there are a lot of great restaurants up there too. I so had no idea it was such a fun Incredible young town. chefs. Yes. Yeah, we want to go back just for eating at some point. I highly recommend the it. Kids. Absolutely. Without the kids. Yeah. It's yeah. the tenth annual Dempsey Challenge Correct. to benefit families who've been impacted by cancer. Can you tell us about it? Yes, my mother was uh, diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and I think 90, 98, uh, passed away four years ago, and uh, you sort of, you know. Supportive care, uh, integrative therapy, things like that wasn't happening, and, and that's why the center is there. So if someone has been impacted by cancer, uh, that individual or their family, all the services that we provide are for free. And we do this fundraising activity this weekend. It's a, the Dempsey Challenge. It's a bike event. It's a run. and It's a walk. Uh, and that allows us to, to raise the money in order to make sure that these services are free. And the spirit within the community... Um, and the goodness that comes out of everybody is really inspiring, and it's it's a great event. I highly recommend it. Yeah. So. And, and, you're, you're and it's ten you, years. We're ten years. It's been ten. It's yeah. ten years. And not only do you host the event, you participate. Yes, I do. You're on the bike. I'm on the bike, um, and with and my kids are on the bike, and my wife's on the bike. So. Nice. And it's it's not a competition. It's not a race. It's just everybody rolls along, and there are groups there that are riding on uh, on behalf of someone who's currently in the fight or they, they've lost someone and the spirit and the generosity and the openness i mean if we could live that way on a daily basis this whole world would be a much better place yeah, it is yeah. it's those moments where you see the resilience of humanity and how much good there is and for those periods when you're part of marathons or, or events like this i think for that time everyone's mind is in the same place right. and that energy almost can lift everyone together right i think when you're thinking about altruism or thinking about the other person and it's not about yourself. It, it's so transformative for not only you as an individual, but as a community, a lot can happen. And that's what we need, I think, in the leadership in, in the world right now is to come from that place. Yeah. Um, because it's just too much hatred. There's too much anger. And it's like, where's the compassion? Um, where's the support in our fellow man? You know, I think that's what we need to work on. So these are moments that are really, for me, very special and, and what life is ultimately about. 
in the end. We agree. Yeah. And like you said, it's not, it's not a competition. It's more about participation. And, and really quickly, another thing you participate in, you're a car racer. Yeah. And not yes. only just a racer, but successful racer yeah, yeah, yeah. at that, man. So what is your favorite thing about racing? I think the mindfulness of it is what I really enjoy the most because you really have to be focused on the here and the now and, and, and your situational awareness, what's going on around you. And then the speed, uh, you know, you have, it's road racing, so you have straightaways, you have corners. So mm -hmm. that's, to me, what was the most challenging. It's, it's the internal battle with oneself that was fascinating and certainly the camaraderie as you know from being a, an athlete that that team sport there is the, the mechanics the engineers and your fellow drivers and there's a camaraderie that is unlike anything else and it's clear either you're fast or you're not there's you know that's it it's done at the end of the race you know how you did I tell you what, we thank you for coming here, man. And, and That's just, it. It's over. Just, it's oh, man, it. I, I know. <laughs> I know. We wish you could stay thank longer. You so You're much. more than welcome. Thank you. But yeah. But if you have time, please come up to Maine. It's a great state, anyway. I'm very proud, I Mainer. Love Maine. Oh, um, and also, you can always reach out if anybody you know in your family has been diagnosed. Please go to the the DempseyCenter.org, and hopefully, we can help you. Yeah, as Patrick said, do not forget to check out the Dempsey Challenge. It's on GoodMorningAmerica.com as well. Make sure you check it out. And thank Patrick, thank you, man. Thank really, you. Really, always yeah. love being around Best you. Love you. With your show. It's great. Thank you. Thank you.